Tonight on BBC London News, the mayor scraps plans to set up 10 academy schools in the capital, one of his key promises when he came to power. Also tonight, his death was not an accident, says the brother of Tom Usby, who fell from a hotel balcony in Magaluf. A toxicology was carried out on Tom and it revealed no drugs in his system and a very small inadequate amount of alcohol to suggest any drunken mishap. And that, and that sends alarm bells. Plus, cracking down on motorists who enter cycle boxes, the latest drive to make London's roads safer. And the vinyl revival, how records are making their mark on more than just the music scene. Hello and a very good evening to you. BBC London has learnt that the mayor is to scrap plans to set up 10 academy schools in the capital. He also set to pull out of the day-to-day -day running of the four academies he already has an interest in. The promise to set up the schools was one of his key promises as mayor, but tonight City Hall said times had changed and the mayor would now focus on free schools instead. Clearly, that isn't the right picture there. Here's our political correspondent, Carl Messer. Plenty more ahead tonight, including... It was the place Olympic dreams were made. How you can try out the Lee Valley track. The family of a teenager from Uxbridge who fell to his death from the ninth floor of a hotel in Mallorca say they fear it wasn't an accident. 19-year-old Tom Usby died two weeks ago in Magaluf where he'd been working. Police in Spain have told the BBC they can't rule out foul play. Sekunder Kamani has the story. Still to come this evening. The vinyl revival. How records are making a mark on more than just the music scene. And it may be humid now, but there's something fresher in the forecast for the weekend. I'll have the details for you a little later in the programme. It was the place Sir Chris Hoy and Laura Trott pedalled to Olympic victory last summer. And today it was announced that the velodrome will open to the public in March next year. Amateur riders who visit the Queen Elizabeth Park venue can try out the track for as little as £9. With more details, here's our sports reporter, Sarah Orchard. A reminder of the headlines. In Egypt, there's been a sharp rise in the official death toll from yesterday's clashes between the security forces and supporters of the ousted Islamist president. At least 525 are now known to have died. There's been a slight fall in the proportion of top grades awarded to A-level students in England, Wales and Northern Ireland. Just over 26% gained A or A-stars, down a third of 1%. And BBC London has learned the mayor is to scrap plans to set up 10 academy schools in the capital. He's also set to pull out of the day-to-day -day running of the four academies he already has an interest in. More on the day's stories on our website and Alice van der Gravy will be here with our late news. From me and the team, thanks for watching and have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.